In this video, we will learn how to find the actual area of a state given the size of a shape on a grid paper. Suppose that you have a map with a scale of 1 inch representing 100 miles. To determine the actual size of a state, you trace the shape on the map onto a quarter inch graph paper. The grid lines are spaced a quarter inch apart. That means each square is a quarter inch by a quarter inch. Suppose the state takes up 108 squares of graph paper. The task is to estimate the actual area. How would you approach this problem? One way is to first determine how large is 108 squares in terms of square inches. And then use the information that 1 inch represents 100 miles to determine the actual area in miles square. Now, what do we need to find the number of square inches that equals to 108 squares? One way is to find how many squares are in 1 inch square. The answer is 16. Can you explain why 1 inch square has 16 squares? It is because 1 inch has 4 quarter inches. Hence, 1 inch by 1 inch square will have 4 times 4 of these small squares. So, 108 squares is equal to how many square inches? To get the answer, we divide 108 by 16. And that equals to 6.7 inch square. Let's see if it makes sense. This shape takes up 5 complete squares and 2 rectangles of half square inch and about 3 strips of quarter square inch amounting to a total of 6 and 3 quarter square inches. The next step is to find the actual size in square miles that corresponds to 6.75 inch square. Now what should we do? First, we need to find the relationship between 1 square mile and 1 square inch. We know that 1 inch corresponds to 100 miles. So, 1 inch by 1 inch represents 100 miles times 100 miles. So now, we know that 1 inch square represents 10,000 miles square. So that means 6.7 inch square will represent 6.75 times 10,000, which equals to 67,500 miles square. We can also solve this problem using the unit fraction method, which usually involves a change of conversion factors. Now, what conversion factor should we use to convert squares to inch squares? We want squares on the denominator and inch squares on the numerator. And we know 1 inch squares is equal to 16 squares. So if we cancel the square, the units that is left is now inch square. Now, what is the second conversion factor we should use? We now want to convert inch square into mile square. So what do you think we should write on the numerator and what should we write on the denominator? We should use this conversion factor because 1 inch square represents 10,000 miles square. If we cancel the inch square, we are left in miles square for the units. Multiplying 108 by 1 over 16 by 10,000 over 1 will give you 67,500 miles square. Alternatively, we can also use this conversion factors instead. This ratio reminds us that each square on the grid is equal to a quarter inch times a quarter inch, which represents an actual square of 100 miles times 100 miles. Multiplying all these numbers will give you again 67,500 and the unit is miles times miles. That means miles squared. 